Well, today I'm going to take you through step by step on how to buy shares online. That's why I always tell you even if you're outside Kenya, you can actually buy shares. This is more applicable to Kenyans and this is how you buy shares. So the very first thing that you need to have, anyway, this is my computer. So the very first thing that you need to have is to have something called a stock broker who can open you a CDS account. I repeat, you must have a CDS account for you to be able to buy or sell shares. That is according to the rules and regulations of our body that regulates all the buying and selling of shares. And that body is called Nairobi Securities Exchange. You see that body? Nairobi Securities Exchange. That's what regulates all the procedures of buying and selling of shares. In short, when I say Nairobi Securities Exchange, simply means... It's like a market where all the companies that are selling and buying shares that are usually meet, okay? So now this is where you come and you get these stock brokers. The stock brokers are always available under this uh, specific website. And these are the, all the legit stock brokers, as you can see them. All of them are stock brokers that you can be able to access so that you can be able to open a CDS account. And if maybe perhaps you bit are complicated for you to start a, open a stock broker or rather open a CDS account, always give me a call. My number is always on the description of this specific video. And I can take you through step by step on how you can access the CDS account. Now, say I've taken you through, which is good. Joseph takes you through, get the CDS account. And now the part that is remaining is to buy shares online. This is how you can do it even if you're outside the country. See, for example, this is my account. Obviously, I won't go the portfolio evolution because you're going to see my money and my investment available funds. I would even go there about the funds. This is like personal information. That one, I won't talk about it. Now, what happens is that this is how you can access. If you click there, you can be able to withdraw your money anytime you want. Available funds, you can be able to see it. Portfolio evaluation here simply indicates uh, what you have invested, the shares that you have and such kind of a thing. So if I may zoom in, all these are companies. See, the market here says open, all right? And you can see it is just flashing from right to left. All those are companies that are selling shares. We have these companies here. You can see green means that the company's shares are actually going up, all right? Now, you see, uh -huh. We have like Baburi, we have the BAT, that is British American Tobacco, all these companies. I think we have like 63 companies that are listed under the Nairobi Securities Exchange. All those are companies that are actually listed under the Nairobi Securities Exchange. Now, this is how you buy. If you come to this column, obviously, you're going to see we have abbreviation of BS and delete. So if you want to buy, you want to say you want to buy like Bamburi Cement, you just come here and click buy. Then there is that pop out. That pop out comes here. Uh, this one's the remain constant. It say here Bamburi Cement. So this is the quantity that you have to buy. You can change that figure to the figure that you want to buy the shares for or from. Then changing that figure, you simply like sort of like highlight that figure and then type the number that you want. Let's say you want to buy like uh, 800 or whatever the number, whichever. So you can actually adjust that. Then here, this is the price per share. So one price of uh, bamboo resentment right now, as you speak, is at 47.1, whatever, five shillings. So you can always change this. Say you want to buy lower than this, and that is obviously what you're supposed to do. You buy lower. If this is the current price, what you do, you indicate a lower price. For example, you can indicate 45. Five zero. It has to be in two decimal place. And then let's say here on this section, I want to buy like say a minimum of 100 shares because you need to buy a minimum of 100 shares. You can disregard the limit, whatever, whatever. You can disregard everything that is out there. Now here it is, okay? This 39 point whatever to now, this is called a 52 week range. This is how it has been fluctuating from one place to the other. Now, when it comes to now, after you've done that, now you come to this position where it says there is a delivery and there is intraday. So intraday is when you want to buy shares, you trade them today, you make money today, it's credited in your account today, and you can withdraw your money today. But when it comes to delivery, this is where you buy shares, you keep them for a longer time, and you can access them in future, not today. Let's say you want to buy shares for delivery meaning you want to buy those shares you keep them for a longer period of time so what you do you click that intraday then you click here and once you click there then it's gonna tell you this is the amount of money or the value that is four thousand five hundred and whatever and then brokerage fee you have to pay them uh 80 kenyan shillings that is the amount of money that you have to pay them and then total charges 17 whatever that now this is the amount of money total amount of money that you need to have in your account for you to buy the shares of this 
specific company. So obviously we are just demonstrating. I'm gonna go ahead and click that buy. Then gonna take us to a different place. Now what have you seen? You have seen that if I wanna buy the bamboo cement, the minimum number of shares which is a hundred, I need like five hundred. Reason why I always tell you you can even buy shares with less than even a hundred, just a hundred Kenyan shillings. For example, let's say you wanna buy shares for this company which is called. I think this is East African Cable or something. Let me see. Yeah, East African Cables Limited. Share one share goes for only one shilling. So even if you buy, let's say if you want to buy like 100 shares here, you just change to 100. Therefore, and let's say you want to buy at that 100 that is there and you want to do the delivery, not the intraday. I say delivery is when you're buying for a longer period of time. Let's say you want to buy for uh, whatever it is, okay? And then you come here. The amount of money that you need to pay. Can you imagine these guys with only a hundred Kenyan shilling? You can just buy those shares. Imagine that. Now, what are the excuses? Just 104 shillings because of the brokerage fees, one shilling and 76 cents. Uh, then tells you that my broker charges less than 2% around there. Therefore, and then you have to see like, uh, maybe let's say, yeah, you see now the, 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 the consideration is 104 because that is the total amount of money. Then you click confirm. You've bought. Bingo. That's how you buy shares, guys. So you see, now I always tell people, like, for example, you have a lot of companies that you can buy shares with less than that amount of money. And where you can check, you usually check this uh, uh, last price or bid price. See, there is a bid price, price, there is last price and all those kind of things. But you can see all those prices, there's not uh, a difference of more. They don't have what you call a big marginal difference between those two things. Okay. Oh, wow, this one has actually increased to this amount of money as I'm watching here. Anyway, the thing is, you see, like for this one is 200. You need like 200, less than 300 to buy shares of this. This one, you need like 100. This one, you need less than 100, uh, less, less than 200, 200 shillings, 100. Less than 100 shillings, you need like 400. You need like, you get the thing. For example, I think the most expensive share here to buy is this one, British American Tobacco, you see? One share goes for 414 Kenyan shilling. So if you want to go ahead and buy shares for this company, then it means that you have to have a what? You, let's say maybe you want to buy like a minimum of 100 shares here. So 100. Therefore, and then you want to go delivery and whatever. Let's just see how much you need to have. Then you need to have like 41,400 or something of sort. So guys, what have you seen? You've seen that different companies, you need different amount of money for you to be able to buy shares as you progress to the next day. So now the point is this, guys, that is how you buy shares. So the only technical part that you need guidance, someone to take you through step by step is the acquisition of this, uh, this the, the CDS, uh, the CDS, uh, what do we call it? The CDS account for you to be able to buy uh, shares. So once you acquire the CDS account, that is where a lot of people get confused. They don't know how to get started and such kind of a thing. So if you would like to buy shares, even if you are outside the country, you know, maybe say you are in GAF, UK, United States, whatever the place you are and you'd like to get part of this, because you can just see the way it is actually, you know, going ahead you can see we have a lot of greens here you know tells you that our market is actually becoming good especially at this time where you see you see you're seeing those greens greens up there so it tells us that our market is actually sort of kind of revamping back and i always tell people the best time to buy shares is especially when most of the people are not even talking about buying shares especially right now when you have these uh what do we call it dollar is actually sort of going down or something of sort kind of tells us that anyway we have something that is going ahead there see uh, something good that's going ahead there. So what I can tell you guys is this. If you want to buy shares, do so as early as you can, as early as you can as right now. And in, let's say in one, two or three years from today, you're going to be getting quite of a good dividends. And that is how you progress and grow yourself to the next level. You know what, guys? Don't live in this era of saying, hey, I will do it, Joseph. I will do it. I will do it until it reaches to a point whereby, for example, you see, most of the shares right now, as you speak, are way down, are way down or used to be way down. Now they are coming up. They're coming up because I believe our economy is revamping back. So be part of it. You see, and I know you are waiting to a point. I remember I made two videos when I was talking about the dollar account. There was a very first time I made a video about buying, uh, converting your Kenyan money into dollars. That then the dollar was around 119, and uh, made, then I made the second video when dollar was around 160. And I told people, you see, guys, I told you to buy dollars then. Then people thought that I'm saying buy dollar now. You see, now right now I'm telling you it's the best time to buy shares when they are this category. For example, if you go some shares of some companies like Safaricom shares, let me see where Safaricom shares. Safaricom is usually abbreviated as COM or something of sort, S-C-C-C or something of sort. 
yeah this one is the safari oh come on it just disappeared again so if you go to uh to that uh, uh come on keep on disappearing keep on disappearing you know for example if you click there safaricom shares right now as you speak is around uh 15 point something or something or so and last year these shares were around 26 shillings so it has the potential to go back to that specific amount of money so can you imagine this if you buy at 15 and then it go back to it goes back to 26 sort of like you've doubled your amount of money that you've invested out there so guys take time and uh, invest on these things These are quite impressive and you can be able to do something as far as your life is concerned anyway that is how you buy shares online and that is exactly the procedures that you need to follow say i would like to withdraw my funds i just come here fund transfer i go to there is an option of uh, deposit and there is an option of withdraw i'm not gonna click that those areas obviously because those are private information and that is exactly how you develop and grow yourself as far as the shares are concerned so we walk our talk when i tell you buy shares i'm into it when i tell you get into the money market fund i'm into it that is exactly how we do it so what is the parting shot go ahead and get that number of mine from the profile bio and we can go ahead or other uh, description of this specific video and i can go ahead and show you how to buy shares and open that cds account for now it's a goodbye and see you in the next one